What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight. Tonight! Okay, we're coming back to Euphoria Jones. Yes, indeed, Euphoria Jones fans, feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. This is a request from Amasaic, and this is actually one of Amasaic's three prioritized requests for the month of November for being a gold tier member on the Patreon page. So, here you go, Amasaic. Hope you enjoy the show. Uh, Amasaic wants to see me react to this song by Euphoria Jones called Frown. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not heard the song before. To the best of my knowledge, uh, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a chance I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, ha, huh, this song, I recognize this now. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by Amasaic. Ah, I see what you did there, okay. So he must have posted this. Uh, for, uh, okay, well, I, I definitely know he posted it for me now. Because <laughs> uh, <laughs> when I captured this, it had a grand total of one view. And that was that was me. I viewed it. <laughs> well, I didn't view it, but I, I clicked on the link. So it registered a view. So that was me. So it has one view. That is not going to get you there. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's, look. I, I appreciate the fact that Amasek uploaded this for me to, you know, to do this, but one view? Come on, man. That, that's not going to work. That is absolutely not going to get you there. There's no way. Um, other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. It is Euphoria Jones with Frown. There it is. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. I'm going to say something, and I really hope people don't jump on me for saying what I'm going to say before they hear the entire explanation, okay? So, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to ask respectfully that uh, before you guys decide to jump on me with pitchforks and torches, 
hear me out, hear my entire explanation, and hear my resolution before you decide to come after me, okay? It's sloppy. It's sloppy. It, it It's sloppy. It, it is absolutely sloppy. Uh, there is... The bass player and the drummer are locking in, but there are these points where the bass player gets ahead and then he falls behind. And it's not because of the subdivisions. It's not that. It's not that at all. I, I hear the subdivisions. I hear that the, the accents of the and of four. I'm, I'm hearing that. I am. Uh, to set up the one and to carry over to the one. I, I'm, I'm hearing that. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the fact that they are not locked in. It's almost like they're fighting each other a little bit. Um, and then when the guitar came in, it was uh, it, it was very stiff, I guess is a good way to put it. Having said all of that, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I'm, I'm, let me tell you why I'm digging it. It's very reminiscent of going into when you're like you're in high school. Like when I was in high school, we went in and we recorded a demo. We went into an actual recording studio and we recorded a demo on an eight track. We had we the the band uh, the the uh, the recording studio that we went to. It was this rinky dink place. We had enough. It was basically a glorified rehearsal space. It, we had enough room to set up mics. But we, there was no, there was no uh, isolation booths. There was no place to do vocals, you know, independently. Everything was done in the in the single room. They set up a microphone in the middle of the room. They set up another microphone. Uh, well, they set up they set up they set up the main mic in the middle of the room, and then they set up two other mics, one next to the drummer, one next to me, and then they put independent mics in front of the guitar cabinets, the bass cabinet, in the kick drum, under the snare, and two over the uh, and two condenser mics over the cymbals. That was it. And vocal mics. Vocal mics for the two guitar players and myself. That was it. That was it. They piggybacked uh, the drum mics into a single uh, single junction and had that go into I think it was the I think it was actually the first track. Um, and it sounded at the time <laughs> for, okay. It looking back on it now, it sounds horrible, man. It sounds absolutely terrible. I still have that demo. Uh, it was a four song demo. I think we paid a hundred bucks for it. <laughs> it was so bad. Uh, it sounded so terrible now, but at, at the time though, we thought that was amazing. We thought that was fantastic. We thought we sounded, you know, we, we thought we sounded amazing. It, it just sounded so good to us. It, it's it's bringing back those feelings for me. It is that, it, like I said, it, it's on. It's not polished. It's not pro tooled. It's it's raw. You hear all those little itty bitty mistakes. Those little. Those other things where we're off just a tiny bit and you're you're a little bit off here and you're not quite locked in and you're not all quite, you know, cohesive and like that. But it still sounds good. It still sounds good, but it's a little sloppy. You know what I mean? It, it's raw. It, I, I, I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving the feel of it. Um, I can't help it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm digging this. It, this I, I'm digging it for all the wrong reasons. It's because of the sloppiness. It's because of the fact that it's it's not exactly locked in. You know, it, it's not. It, it's 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 got those little itty bitty imperfections, and it's just it's bringing back those good time vibes for me. The very first band I was ever in as an actual band member, I was 16, <laughs> and uh, they. <laughs> You'll never find us. I guarantee you, you'll never find us. The name of the band was called The New President. And we were in high school. And it was just, it was the most ridiculous thing ever. It was, it was a time when the bands were, we were, we were trying to out silly each other. That's what it was. There was, and there was three bands that kind of played together. There was us, there was another band called The Unknown, and there was another band called A Joke. 
That was the name of the band, a joke. And the three of us, the, the three bands, we would play together a lot and we would always try to out silly each other, whether it be what we were wearing or our antics on stage or, you know, what, whatever it was that we were doing, the, the names of the songs, or what we would say in between or whatever. It was, it was just a fun, silly, fun time. And this song is reminding me of those good times. So anyway, let, let's keep going here. <laughs> I'm digging the chorus, especially. Um, even though it's kind of awkward with that six-bar phrase, it's it still feels good. I, I I can't explain it. I can't explain it. But, I mean, because I, I know normally when I hear a six-bar phrase like that, it kind of irks me. It's kind of like, eh, why, why didn't you just add another two measures and make it an eight-bar phrase and, you know, make, make it – Make it more conducive to, you know, what people are used to hearing. And, you know, it, it usually kind of gets on my nerves a little bit. Uh, but for some reason, it, it's not getting on my nerves here. I, I, I'm actually, I can't believe I'm going to say this. I'm kind of digging it. I'm kind of digging the fact that it feels awkward with a six bar phrase. I don't know why. I can't explain it. I cannot explain it. But I'm, I'm digging it. I'm absolutely digging it. That, that chorus is catchy. It's absolutely catchy. Uh, let's let's keep going. I, I meant to ask this question earlier and I, I'm going to ask it now before I forget again. 
During the verses, I'm hearing like vibes. I'm hearing vibes being played. Now, I don't know if those are actual real vibes or if that's a keyboard with a vibes patch. I'm not sure. Um, I'm guessing it's a keyboard with a vibes patch, but I could be wrong. Uh, I'm guessing it's the guitar player that plays it because during the verses, we don't hear any guitar. We hear the vibes. But when the chorus kicks in, the vibes disappear and the guitar kicks in. So my guess is it's the guitar player. It could be the singer. It could be the singer doing it. I, I don't know. I'm sure somebody who actually follows this band or followed this band at one point uh, will probably be able to tell me, which I would love to hear because I'm, I'm curious. I'm actually, I would like to know who it was. Give me a clearer picture of the band and how they function. You know what I mean? Anyway, uh, we got about a minute to go. Let's finish this off and then we'll get to the review. Solid ending. Really solid ending. Um, got a lot of mixed feelings about this. Let me... Let me see if I can put my feelings in check here. And, uh... Let me think about it. And we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it in the review. Well, there you go, folks. That was Euphoria Jones with Brown. Uh, this was a request from Amasaic, and this is actually one of Amasaic's three prioritized requests for the month of November for being a gold tier member on the Patreon page. So, there you go, Amasaic. Hope you enjoyed the show, man. Um, okay. I came up with the score, but I kind of I kind of went a little different route with giving this score than I normally do. I'm usually far more analytical and factual and, you know, black and white when it comes to giving scores. And I, I kind of had to let my feelings of nostalgia come into play on this. I, I had to because they were very strong. They were very strong. Um, and I, I had to, I had to take them into account because they did affect the score slightly. Not a lot, not a lot, but it, it did, it did affect the score a little bit. Uh, on a scale of one to ten, I am gonna give that a seven point seven. Yep, seven point seven. I feel great about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Like I said earlier, was the song super clean? No. Was the song mixed well? It wasn't bad, but it wasn't it wasn't perfect either. So uh, it, it wasn't it wasn't great. Uh, did everything make sense? Yes. Did it sound good? Yes. Did it? Was it perfectly produced? No. No, it wasn't. Uh, like I said, there were a lot of things in this that led to a sloppy feel. Like I said, 
the bassist and the drummer were not locked in 100% of the time. Let's be honest here, okay? They weren't, all right? They were not 100% locked in all the time. Uh, there were times where the bass player would get just a little bit ahead, and then he would pull back, and he would line up. And then he would be a little bit behind, and then he would line back up. And then he'd get a little behind again, and then he'd line back up. And then he would get a little bit ahead again, and then he would line back up. It was always fixed pretty quickly. I mean, it, it didn't stay... It, it didn't stay out for long. And, it, and when it did go out, it wasn't a big out-of-the-loop thing. It, it, was, it was just a little tiny bit out. But it was enough to be noticeable. And it, it did give it a sloppy feel. Um... But having said that, like I said, I dug, I, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I dug that sloppy feel. And the reason I think I dug it so much is because it was reminiscent for me of my high school days when I was in my very first band, The New President. And, you know, we, we recorded this ridiculously horrible demo, <laughs> for lack of a better word. It was horrible. I, I, I can look back on it now and I can say that was bad. That, that was that was not a good demo. That was that was a pretty bad demo. I mean, we got our money's worth. We each chipped in twenty five bucks, and we, we we paid for this. And it was no, I'm sorry, I was wrong. We each paid fifty bucks. It was a two hundred dollar thing, and we were in the studio for an entire day for two hundred dollars. And so, of course, you can imagine the quality we got, especially coming off of an eight track. You know, come on, it's it's not going to be pro tooled, engineered, everything lined up, everything perfect. It, it's not going to be that. But it, it just like this, it wasn't that either. But it did bring back a lot of that nostalgia feel. And it did come into effect on my score. I'm sorry, uh, but I, I just feel like it was necessary to include it in that. Um, I like the bass tone. The bass tone was nice. Uh, the guitar tone on this, I think, was one of my favorite things. I, I, I dug the guitar on this. The, the guitar tone on the choruses sounded fantastic. I'll get to the chorus in a little bit. Uh, the use of vibes. Now, I, like I said, I don't think those were real vibes. I, I believe that that was a keyboard with a vibes patch. Now, I could be wrong. I, I very well could be wrong, but I have a feeling I'm right. So we're gonna stick with it. Vocally, uh, I thought the vocalist did a really good job, actually. I, I think the vocalist came through pretty well in the mix. Uh, I think his projection was good. A little nasally, but I mean, I think it fit the style of the song, so that may have been on purpose. But it was strong. It was projected well. For the most part, it was on pitch. There were a couple places it was a little pitchy, but I mean, it was, again, adding to that feel of nostalgia. So, I, as much as I want to knock it, I can't. <laughs> I just can't. Um... That chorus was unique. Uh, having a six bar phrase. Starting on the D, you know, it was the song was in D. Uh, going down to the B flat, which is the, the flat six, the minor six. Going up to the minor seven. And then going back up to the D. Now that makes sense. But when they went back up to the D, they started the new phrase. Rather than playing two measures of D, and then two more measures of D to make it an eight par an eight par phrase. Now they just went right back to the D and started the loop again. So it was two bars, two bars, two bars, six bars. That that's weird. It, it's weird, but it worked. It worked really well, actually. Now I I dug this. I I dug it. It, it was unexpected. It was outside my normal comfort zone. Um, and like I said, it, it was sloppy, but it wasn't, here's the thing. It wasn't so sloppy that it hurt my ears. It wasn't like, oh God, that's horrible. Ah, it was just sloppy enough to get my attention. It was just out enough to make me go, uh, 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 you know, it, it, it just, it, it made me tilt my head like a dog, you know, the, you know, type of thing. It, it just made me feel like that at times, but never to the point where I was like, this is horrible. I, I never said that. I never once had that thought go in my head. Um, it just, it was definitely raw. It was definitely bare bones. Um, 
severely lacking on production, but I think that's part of the appeal of it. So, we're going to give it the 7.7, .7 and I am not going to change my mind. We're going to stick with that 7.7, .7. so that is where we're going to stay. 7.7, .7, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you did enjoy the show and you would like to see more videos like this, feel free to join the fan base by clicking on that button down there. Yeah, you know the button I'm talking about. Click on that button, join the fan base, and become one of us. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't feel like clicking on that button, that's okay. I still respect you. Also, if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give the video a thumbs up. It'll do me a world of good, and it will do you absolutely no harm whatsoever. Finally, if you guys do join the fan base, you will find a bell down there that you can click on. By clicking on that bell, it'll keep you up to date on everything happening with this channel, including when new content gets dropped. So, if you want to stay in the know, click on the bell, and you'll stay in the know. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Until next time, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later, peace.